Is paper clutter taking over your life? So much so that you can't see your tabletops and it just knocks you down. Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you what worked for me. How I put a stop to the piles of paper that always feel so welcome to just sit on your counters. Well, paper, you have overstayed your welcome and we are through with you. First things first, you tell off your papers. It'll feel good. I know you are, but what am I? After you've gotten that off your chest, then I want you to consider purchasing a filing box. You don't need to go get a filing cabinet that's gonna take up a ton of space. A box will work great. They cost around $20. I keep mine stored under the bed and this holds all of my important papers, such as tax returns, birth certificates, passports, papers that you can't lose. And then I have these folders that keep it all organized and make it easy to file my papers away. Ever since I got a file box, my papers have had a place to go where it's out of sight, not cluttering up my drawers or counters, but also in a place where I know just where to find them. I'm not stressed about losing them and I don't even have to think about them until one day when I need something from the box. Well, I know just where to find it and I can grab the papers I need within a minute. So this has been a great investment. The one I bought is no longer available on Amazon though, so I'll link down below one that is similar in case you wanted to check them out for yourself. Next, you're gonna need some kind of system to keep paper from automatically filling up your counters every time you get mail. First of all, when you grab your mail, don't set it down. Open it right away. Even if it's spam mail, just open it and throw out what is garbage. If you can get into this habit every time you open your mail, it's really gonna help you keep on top of things. Okay, but what about the mail that isn't garbage? Well, that's where these bins come into play. These bins are from the dollar store. I like to keep them in a high traffic area so that I don't forget about them. So I put them high up within my kitchen cabinets where I know is a popular spot because this is the chocolate cabinet. Yeah, this place gets visited daily. Like this video if you have a secret chocolate stash. <laughs> So after I throw out the spam mail, I use these bins to organize the rest. One is my file bin, pretty self-explanatory. This bin is telling me to file away these papers into my large file box upstairs. And next is the Sunday basket. Now I found this idea from the minimal mom. The Sunday basket is a place where you're gonna put the bills you need to pay, paperwork that needs to be filled out, things that need to be completed. And then on Sunday, you would take it out and take care of it. Pay the bills, fill out the paperwork, and whatever else. Now I probably should change this to my Tuesday basket because that's when I've been doing it. Now that I'm following Fly Lady's cleaning system, I purge through these bins during the weekly home blessing, which I do on Tuesdays. If you don't know who Fly Lady is and would like to learn more about her cleaning system, then subscribe to my channel and check out my videos because that's what my channel is all about. Another thing I want to mention is that my paper system isn't perfect. Ideally, I should be using bigger bins with folders to organize them. Having papers placed on top of each other like this isn't a great idea because you can't see what's in here. If you can organize these bins with the folders placed upright, then that's really going to make things easier for you and it's going to look less crazy. When the papers are all thrown on top of each other like this, it can be more intimidating to sift through. So my system isn't perfect, but so far it's worked for me. So if you want to try this, then pick up a file box, go through the mountain of papers on your table, throw out what needs to be thrown out, and find file away what needs to be filed away. Also, have you ever heard of a control journal? Well, click here to see mine. It has been so helpful for helping me keep on top of my home and I think everyone should have one. So check it out and I'll see you there.